The night sky will be full of things to view this upcoming month across the Midlands, planets, the moon, and even an eclipse. Meteorologist Corey Smith has the latest on your Skywatch forecast. We've made it to the end of the month, which means it's time to take a look at the night sky across the Midlands. Some really great things going on this upcoming month. But let's talk about what we saw in April. Some gorgeous pictures from our nighttime WLTX weather watchers of the full moon right around the middle of the month. A great viewing for that. Some great weather as well. Let's talk about though as they close out the month of April. Something really cool in the morning hours. This is called a conjunction and Jupiter and Venus will pretty much be touching in the morning sky. Just look towards the east southeast on the morning of April 30th. As you go a little bit later on into the month of May, this is the 24th. We're going to have Jupiter, Mars, and the Moon all in the morning sky once again, just about an hour before sunrise. Just look towards the east southeast, and you'll see all three of them just chilling out in the sky. As we go towards the very end of the month, another conjunction. This time, Jupiter and Mars getting very close in the morning sky to the east southeast. That's going to be on May 29th. But the big story and the big spectacle for May is going to be the total lunar eclipse across the eastern U.S. That means the moon moving into the Earth's shadow. So right around 10.30 p.m. on May 15th, the moon's going to start to get a little bit dark. As you get towards 11.30, it gets even darker and starts to turn red as it completely moves into the shadow of the Earth. This is also known as the blood moon. So this is going to be a really cool thing to see. Hopefully we have some clear skies as we get a little bit closer to that. And in fact, talking about the weather conditions, your sky watch forecast going forward, things looking okay as we end out this week with mostly clear skies the next few nights, partly cloudy conditions as we go into the weekend before we start to see more cloud cover moving in towards the beginning of next week. With all this being said, if you have any pictures, videos, or even any questions about how to view any of the things we talked about, you can send those in through social media. We'd love to be able to get some of your stuff here on air. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. Well, the lunar eclipse in May is expected to be very long with almost one and a half hours in totality. As we get closer to the event, you can count on News 19 to let you know if clear skies will be in the forecast for viewing.